solve radical equations, and I want them in the lesson to compare solving the equation algebraically compared to solving it graphically so that they can see that on the graph you can see if it's a solution or not. You can see if those two lines are intersecting and there's a solution um, between those two expressions on each side of that equal sign. But when you're solving algebraically, you may get a proposed solution that actually doesn't work, and you need to actually substitute that back in and check to see if it's an actual so real solution. And so if we had the graph um, for f, f of x1, we're going to put in square root of negative 4x. So square root of negative 4x. And then for, I'm going to enter that, and then tab brings up f2. And I'm going to put in negative 6, the other side, the expression on the other side of the equation. So we had square root of negative 4x equals negative 6. And you can see that those don't intersect and there is no solution between those two expressions. So that answer to that is no solution. However, if you solve that algebraically, you end up with x equals negative 9 as a proposed solution. But when you substitute it back in, you can see that it's not true. And then on the next problem we're going to look at, if we look at, um, I'm just going to put in another one. So if we go to another graph, And on this one, I'm going to put in um, square root of x equals 3. So square root of x is going to be the expression on the left. Square root of x. And then on the right-hand side, the expression will be 3. So tab to bring up the other f of x, and I'm going to put in 3, and then enter. And you can see that they are intersecting at 9, at about 9 right there. And actually, I think if you move it over, you can see. Let me see if I can enlarge that. Zoom menu, and you can zoom out or zoom to fit. Zoom to fit is usually what I use. And you can see that um, they're intersecting at 9 may even show that point if you zoom out more. So menu, zoom, zoom in actually. So let me get that to look. No, it just shows you the two equations. I thought it might show you the actual point, but it does show when we had it in the other um, that it's going to be intersecting at 9. So you can see the solution that it's at x equals 9. That's actually the solution you get algebraically also. But I just want students to be able to compare those two solutions algebraically and graphically.